Okay, the general consensus was that bigger was better. This is my mock-up of a uh, larger dresser. It's about uh, 1.5 times the size of the old one in every direction, uh, and it ends up being slightly larger than the one that's used in an actual uh, pack. So it might be a little too large, but I can scale it down as needed. Anyhow, this is just a fully functional dresser, and uh, I'll probably end up using a placeholder version until I get sick of it, because I'm not really terribly good at um, modeling dressers or anything like that. You can see that I've got this uh, rather silly looking white area. Um, I'm not really sure what to do about it. If you guys happen to be dresser virtuosos, feel free to donate your own dresser uh, meshes and textures, but make sure that they would look relatively good in this sort of environment. I haven't got this to open yet, just because I haven't gotten quite that far, but it is a hollow area, and I'll be putting clothes in here, hung up. Uh, before you ask, yeah, they did use those kinds of uh, clothes hangers and hanging up of clothes back in the medieval era. Of course, they also did a lot of throwing random pieces of clothes over poles rather than hanging them or folding them, so that'll be fun. I don't know how much of that will happen in these kinds of enclosed spaces, but I can definitely see, uh, you know, um, uh, hanging drying racks or maybe even using the beams themselves. Uh, so you could add a lot of, of stuff to your open environment that way if you wanted to. Well, uh, the actual model here is a placeholder model, but if you think this size might be too large, now would be a good time to let me know. That's it.